In this video, we are going to address an important question regarding the game Lights Out. The question is, if I just pick a random selection of squares to have the lights on, can the puzzle still be solved? This is an important question because you don't want to give an impossible puzzle to the player. And it turns out that the answer is, there are cases where you can't solve the puzzle. And we'll see an example of that. So what you see in front of you is a 4x4 version. And I have turned on wrap around. And I've also specified the option of not toggling the light of the square that you click. So for example, if I click on this little square here, it won't affect the light of that square, but it will affect the one that is above, below, on the right and on the left. As you can see here. And this clone of lights out called the light version 1.2 allow me to actually export the matrix that correspond to this puzzle. So what happens is in the matrix, each column consists of zeros and ones, and the ones represent the squares that are toggled when the square corresponding to that column is clicked. Alright, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to export the puzzle data, and I'm going to save it right here. And I'm going to lower it up and see what it looks like. So this is the matrix here. If you look at the first column here, the second, the fourth, the fifth, and the 13th squares are affected when the first square is clicked. So it corresponds to this square. So the things that are affected are this 2, 4, 5, and 13. All right, and uh, the second column corresponds to this square here. OK, and this rightmost column here represent the squares that have the lights on. OK, so you have 1, 2, and 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, and 15. All right. So that's the matrix. And I can row reduce this, modulo 2, to get a solution. But there's one thing that I want you to look at. Every column has an even number of ones. In fact, every one has exactly four ones. And what happens if you add two columns, modulo 2? So when you have 1 plus 1, you get 0. All right, let's see what happens. So if I add the first two columns, I get eight ones. But if I add the second column and the fourth column, what do I get? I get a 1 here, a 1 at this position. These ones will cancel, and these ones will cancel. And so I am, and, and and this one will have a 1, and this will have a 1. So if I add the second and the fourth columns, I will end up with four ones as well. And if you think about it a bit, if you add any two columns with an even number of ones, not just four ones, modulo 2, the result is going to have an even number of ones. If I take a subset of these columns and add them together, the result is going to have an even number of 1. And that means that if the last column here has an odd number of 1s, there can never be a solution. Right? Because a solution would be a subset of these columns added together, giving the last column. And we have seen that if you add columns with an even number of 1s, you end up with something that has an even number of 1s. So if the last column has an odd number of ones, there's no way we can solve this. So that's 4x4 with uh, some unconventional options. So let, let's look at 5x5. Five five. And we're going to disallow wrap around and toggle the light that is clicked. OK, so what happens here is, again, we're going to export this puzzle data and see if for any configuration of lights, there's a solution. So to answer that question, I'm going to make use of Babel. So let me first bring up this matrix data. And I'm going to open Babel. All right. So here I have this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a package called linear algebra 
using modular arithmetic. And I'm now going to copy this matrix over here. And I'm going to use row reduce. So row reduce accepts a number of parameters. The first one is the modulus. So we're doing everything modulo 2. And I'm going to row reduce uh, the matrix A. And the matrix A that we want to row reduce has 25 rows, 25 columns. Sorry, 26 columns. And 25 of them are variables. So, uh, oops. Uh, okay, my matrix is M, not A. Okay. So let's see what the determinant is. The determinant of the coefficient matrix is zero. That means we can't possibly expect to have a solution for every configuration of light. Now let's look at the rank. The rank is only 23, not 25. And as a result, there will be configurations that will not have solutions. The moral of the story is, if you were going to write a clone of lights out, you really have to be careful. You cannot just pick an arbitrary set of squares, turn the lights on, and feed it to the user. What you would do instead is, you would let the computer pick a random set of squares to click on, and present that result to the user. Then at least you know that there is going to be a solution.